In the shadows of history, a tale of domination and control unfolds. The echoes of a bygone era reverberate through the modern fabric of African societies. France's colonization of vast territories still haunts the continent. In Algeria, the brutal suppression and dispossession during French colonization culminated in a bloody war of independence, leaving a wounded nation behind. In Senegal, French rule imposed a new language and culture, overshadowing indigenous practices and contributing to economic exploitation that still affects society today. On the island of Madagascar, French control began in 1896, leading to a harsh response to the 1,947 Malagasy uprising that forever etched a line of division between colonizer and colonized. In Nainaija, becoming part of French West Africa in 1922, led to environmental degradation and the suppression of local customs and traditions while the uranium wealth was exploited. These brief glimpses into the intricate web of French colonization in Africa sketch a legacy of power, control, and subjugation. A story that continues to shape the destiny of nations once at the mercy of a distant European power. From the 19th century, France's imperial conquest led to the colonization of various regions in West Africa, including Niger. Colonized in 1922, Niger became a French colony under the French West Africa Federation. The ruthless exploitation, cultural imposition, and socio-economic stagnation marked a dark period in Niger's history. The French colonial authorities controlled the vital resources established laws and exercised political power, often with little regard for the local population's welfare. Niger's resources were exploited for France's benefit, leaving a legacy of inequality and suffering. France's energy landscape has been a subject of concern and strategic planning. With limited fossil fuel resources, the country has been largely dependent on external sources. The oil crises in the 1970s drove France to explore alternative energy resources, leading to heavy in investments in nuclear energy. With over 56 operational nuclear reactors, France stands as one of the leading nuclear energy producers in the world. However, the need for a stable supply of uranium became paramount leading France to aggressively pursue uranium mining in its former colony, Niger. France's aggressive pursuit of uranium has resulted in substantial benefits to the country's energy landscape. Uranium fuels force France's nuclear plants, contributing to around 70% of its electricity needs. In stark contrast, Niger the source of this valuable resource gains remarkably little from its abundant uranium reserves. Despite owning one of the world's largest uranium deposits, Niger remains mired in poverty, with a substantial portion of its population lacking access to basic electricity. While France has become a leader in nuclear energy, with 56 operational nuclear reactors as of 2021. Its access to Niger's uranium has enabled it to reduce its dependence on fossil fuels and enhance its energy security. In stark contrast, Nystes, suffering is evident as, despite its vast uranium resources, it does not have a single operational nuclear reactor. About 80% of the population lacks access to electricity, particularly in rural areas. The revenue from uranium mining, controlled mostly by French companies, contributes a mere 5% to the national GDP. 
The grim reality of towns like Arlet, left with radioactive waste and enduring health and environmental challenges, epitomizes the tragic disparity in this relationship. The contrasting fortunes of France and Niger in the context of uranium exploitation paint a dramatic and often heartbreaking picture. France's success in harnessing nuclear energy stands in harsh juxtaposition to Niger's energy poverty and economic struggles. The story of uranium in these two nations is a tale of unequal exchange where one nation's energy prosperity has been built on the exploitation and suffering of the other. In the sweltering heat of a political storm, Niger found itself plunged into chaos. The military coup on July 26, 2021, unfolded like a tragic play, with soldiers from the Presidential Guard seizing power and detaining President Mohamed Zuzu. The world watched, mouths agape, as a country's destiny changed in a heartbeat. The threat of a military incursion by neighboring West African nations loomed, and the condemnation rang loud and clear across international borders. Amid the tumult, accusations flew like arrows against French forces, accusing them of destabilizing Niger by allegedly freeing captured terrorists and breaching Nigerian airspace. A denial came swiftly from France, but the stain of suspicion remained. The streets of Niamey became a stage as thousands marched in anger, their voices raised against France's colonial shadow. And in the shadows, Russia's eyes gleamed, seeing opportunity in turmoil and began its dance of influence across the African stage. The labyrinthine intrigue of France's actions in Niger is a tale of power, influence, and a desperate clinging to control. Accused of Vava, Chansey's annexed Kanyan, Thal, Topgun Gunchenchersesi. The roots of France's interests in Niger delve deep entangled in a history stained by colonialism and greed. France's hunger for energy has led it to Niger's doorstep. The nation's uranium fuels France's nuclear dreams, powering its future while casting a shadow over Niger's own people. France's military footprint in the Sahel reflects its obsession with stability an unending battle against the specter of chaos that haunts a fragile region. A ghostly colonial legacy binds France and Niger, a connection that continues to influence, manipulate, and define their relationship. It's a bond that neither time nor distance has managed to sever, a dance of power that plays out in the corridors of diplomacy and the battlefields of influence. Africa quivers, a continent aware of the ripples from Niger's coup. Eyes turn to Mali, Burkina Faso, a pattern emerging, a storm gathering. A COWAS calls for order, but the echoes of uncertainty linger. And all the while, the world watches as Russia advances and France's influence wanes, a shifting balance that speaks of a new era, a changing world. The drama of Niger's situation is far from its final act, and the world awaits the next twist in a tale that has captured the imagination, ignited debates, and left a trail of questions in its wake. France's future without Niger's uranium raises several questions that echo through various aspects of national and international life Without access to Niger's uranium, France could face an energy crisis, economic disruptions, strategic vulnerabilities, and a tarnished international reputation. France might seek new uranium-rich partners, invest in alternative energy sources, or embark on diplomatic endeavors to rebuild the relationship with Niger. 
The complex interplay between history, politics, and economics in the relationship between France and Niger creates an uncertain future. Other nations' reactions and Russia's involvement add layers of intrigue. What do you think France's future holds without Niger's uranium? How do you see the evolving relationship between France and Niger? We invite you to share your thoughts in the comments section below. If you found this content insightful, please like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram to stay updated on our latest analyses and discussions. Your support helps us continue to provide thought-provoking content. Thank you. All the sources are mentioned in the description below.